Coach Mac here helping you to be, do, and have what you really want more of in your life. Today I want to talk a bit about time management and from my humble opinion, time management is a myth. You cannot really manage time. You cannot make yourself a second older or a second younger and rewind that and have a do-over. You have to manage your choices and for most people when we talk about manager, managing your time versus managing your choices, Choice management feels different. Now, in order to do this, you need a couple of tools. One is a calendar, and most people have a calendar on their phone, on their computer. The other thing is a daily to-do list, and some people have a daily to-do list on their phones. I prefer to use a paper and pencil daily do list because I like the feel of when you check it off or cross it off the list. In terms of putting it together, I coach people to have what I call a daily staff meeting with themselves. And the reason I call it a daily staff meeting with yourself is that this staff meeting is just as important as meeting with a client, meeting with a prospect, meeting with your team. This is the me, myself, and I time where you have this one chance to seize control of your day and to manage the choices, manage your own priorities according to what's really important to you. Now, the other thing to remember is that it's been said that for every minute you spend planning, it saves between four and 12 minutes of implementation. Basically, if you have a 15 minute planning period for yourself, for your daily staff meeting every day, that can save you between one and three hours of time where you're just spinning your wheels and not really accomplishing what you need to for your productivity and in your sense of contribution to your success. In this, say, 15-minute personal staff meeting with yourself, you get to set your own agenda. First, you want to take a look at your calendar, see what you've got on the calendar for that day. And then you want to take a look at your daily to-do list and see what's on that list from the previous day. If you're like me, you update that list to start fresh on this day, the next day. And you set those priorities. And I like to use an A, B, or C note beside each of the items on my to-do list. A means you always do that on that particular day. B means it's best if you do that on that day. C means if you can, go ahead and do that on that day, but it's not mission critical. And once you set your priorities, um, you look on your calendar and make appointments with yourself for when you're going to accomplish those things that are on your to-do list. It helps you really coordinate yourself better because if you have several things on your to-do list that require you to run an errand, then you can coordinate that and take care of all of those two or three things that you have to be out for uh, in one outing. And I have to be running in and out, in and out, back and forth, sometimes running across town two or three times a day when you can coordinate that on your to-do list, make the appointment on your calendar, and handle that all at one outing. So again, that's one of the examples of how you save yourself time and energy uh, in making better choices and coordinating your choices. Uh, there are a number of other things that could be helpful in managing your choices and doing better choice management on each day. This is enough to get you started. Remember, you need a calendar and a to-do list and a time where you consistently have your daily personal staff meeting with yourself that allows you to take control of your choices for that day. This is Coach Mac, hoping that you take this to heart and have more of what you really want in your life.